As a concreter, you probably already realise that some of the manual tasks you do at work can increase the chance of getting injured. You often get into awkward positions for long periods which can stress different parts of your body, especially your back. Years of squatting can eventually play havoc with your knees. You may use vibrating machinery and equipment, and if you have to lift heavy or awkward objects, this can lead to back problems too. So what can you do to keep the chances of getting injured as low as possible? Firstly, know the risks and plan for them. If there is a tool that does the job better and stresses your body less, try and use it. This adapted whippersnipper is more compact and also allows a more stable, upright posture and better use of body weight than the original equipment. Using a long-handled shovel results in a better posture when levelling. And this finishing machine has clear advantages over hand troweling from both a postural as well as time perspective. Be careful not to use vibrating tools and equipment for long periods of time. The more repetitive or sustained a task, the more you have to think about pacing yourself, taking regular work breaks or rotating tasks to reduce fatigue and overuse problems. If you find yourself in an awkward posture, see if you can change it. By using your hips and legs more and your back less, you can reduce your risk of getting back pain. If, however, it is unavoidable, try not to stay in the awkward position for too long. Sometimes deciding on the best person for the task may involve considering their stature relative to the work height. When lifting, pushing or pulling, never attempt anything that is too heavy or awkward to safely move. Preferably use some form of mechanical aid or, if this is not possible, get someone else to help you but only if it can be safely lifted or moved with two people. When you do have to move an object, always follow these safe manual handling guidelines. Always assess the load first. Plan the move, clear the pathway and remove any obvious hazards. Always use good body mechanics and never use your back as a crane. Aim to keep the natural curves of your spine at all times and use the power muscles of your legs. You should adopt a weightlifter's stance with your hips and knees bent and a wide, stable foot position for good balance. Always keep the load close to you, particularly if it's heavy, and use a strong handhold. When doing a two-person lift, make sure you assess and plan the task thoroughly and try to use people of similar height and strength. Always get one person to coordinate the lift and call out instructions. Avoid carrying objects with two people over long distances. When pushing or pulling, always use your body weight to advantage, along with the power in your legs. And finally, remember to keep your own fitness up to the demands of the work you have to do. By following the simple guidelines we've shown you in this video, you'll have a better chance of enjoying a long career unmarred by injury. Life's too short.